Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. So speed arithmetic is something I used to do in school for fun. I know it's probably kind of weird, but simple uh, yeah. arithmetic problems at volume was exciting and invigorating and rewarding for me. I didn't I didn't have to crunch on one problem for a long time and say, yay, I spent a half an hour and I have one answer. You know what I mean? I, mean, I get that part. People like to see progress, and that's what I got when I did speed arithmetic. We never had a name for it, but if we did have a name for it, we might call it Math Rush. And that's the kind of game Genius Games made. This is a snap review for Math Rush. Math Rush is a cooperative card game for one to five players, and it takes about 15 minutes to play. John Caveu and Steve Schlepphorst designed Math Rush, and like we said, it's published by Genius Games. This is Volume 1, Addition and Subtraction. It's for ages 8 and up. So, Anisha, let's talk about the art in Math Rush. Okay, so there's not a lot of actual art here because it's just addition and subtraction facts plus some gold cards. But the graphic design is great. The numbers are big. The symbols are big. Everything that you really need to read is super big. Yep, and the colors matter too. Addition is blue. Subtraction is pink. Those gold cards are yellow. And help cards are green. So let's talk about the mechanics of Math Rush. Yeah, sure. So how do we play? We know about the math part. That's kind of obvious. But what makes this game rushed? Start by dealing out a hand of cards to each player. Five cards each for a one or two player game, uh, down to three cards if you have four or more players. Then set out three gold cards face up with room to make a row of cards to the right of each one. When everyone has had a chance to look at the goals and their own hand of cards, you start a three minute timer. While the timer is going, players try to fulfill the goal cards with sets that match the requirements. Each goal card shows a direction, increasing or decreasing values, how many cards are needed to complete the set, and a victory point value. Many goals will also give an additional restriction, like odds only or subtraction only. There are no turns in this game. Any player can play a card from their hand at any time, either in order, ascending or descending, or on top of a card with an equal value. After they've played a card, they can draw a new one from the deck. When a goal card is complete, meaning it has the required quantity of number cards that it's set, you flip it face down, and then add another new goal card to the table. When the time is up, check all the completed goals. Did all the cards played meet the restriction? You can quickly check the ordering by flipping the number cards over. Each one has a letter of the alphabet on it, so you can check the row for alphabetical order. Very cool. If all the requirements of a goal are met, the players get points according to the stars on the card. Keep track on paper or with counters, then reshuffle all the goals and all the numbers for the next round. After three rounds, count up your score and add some points for any unused help cards. Help cards don't get reset between rounds. You only have three of them to use over the course of the game. During a round, you can flip a help card over to either remove any quantity of number cards from a single set, or all players can discard any number of cards from their hands and redraw. So, how will your team fare? Are you arithmetic aces or geometry geniuses? So, Anisha, what did we expect from this one? Well, Genius Games is known for games that break that usual educational game paradigm. They're actually fun, <laughs> uh, while staying accurate to their source material. But how do you make math facts fun? I've seen a lot of other games try this and fail. They usually try to reward correct calculation, which is fine, but it gets boring really quickly. Math flashcards just aren't that interesting. Un unless you're Andrew, I guess. <laughs> You mentioned the math flashcards. You can totally actually use these cards as math flashcards if you want to. But remember that speed arithmetic thing I talked about? Seeing the cards pile up as everybody's playing into all these piles, it makes me feel the same way. But that leads us into what surprised us here. This is a math game where getting to the answer really matters. It's not about showing off or being the best at the math, but being able to contribute to the larger problem of sequencing numbers in order. For me, I didn't really expect this to be a cooperative game. That was one of my big surprises. See, our brains are wired to see the problem on the card as the problem to solve. That's true, but the real genius of what Genius Games did here is that they realized the 
little problems could be a springboard to a bigger, more collective problem. For me, that's where this game actually shines because they created a new problem to solve as a team while acknowledging that you can't collaborate on one plus one equals two. Yeah, no. One more thing that surprised me is that there were higher numbers in these equation cards than I expected. They went about as high as 25. Um, uh, this one says 28 because it's a subtraction equation. But this is really good because it means the game scales a little bit and stays challenging beyond age eight or nine. We genuinely had a lot of fun playing this together. If playing with younger players who are still mastering addition and subtraction, you can modify the difficulty in a lot of different ways in this game. You can remove some of the more advanced cards, maybe with some of those bigger numbers. You can use help cards as many times as you want to. You can only work on one goal at a time, or maybe you even just remove the timer altogether. There's lots of options. By the way, if you want more than simple addition and subtraction, remember this is version one. There are actually three. Version two is multiplication and exponents. And version three is fractions, decimals, and percentages. Ooh. Yeah. So speaking of fractions and decimals, Anitra, what are we gonna rate Math Rush from Genius Games? Well, they've got a great system here, and I'm excited, maybe a little scared, <laughs> to see the problems in Volumes 2 and 3, but we're going to rate Math Rush 4 out of 5 math problems. And that's Math Rush in, in a, a snap. snap. Did you know that the Family Gamers has a weekly podcast? Oh, and over 500 reviews on our website. Check it out at thefamilygamers.com. Are you arithmetic aces or geometry geniuses? Paladins of Pemdas. 